Hey guys, my name is Scoby and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a telephone voice effect in Adobe Audition. I'm going to be giving you a quick sample of this and then I'm going to be showing you step by step how to recreate it. Hey babe, just want to leave you a quick voicemail to say sorry about your dog. I didn't mean to give him all those laxatives, it was kind of just a funny joke that got out of hand. So the first thing you want to do is have Adobe Audition open and what we're going to be doing is either opening up an audio file that you already have or you can feel free to record something new if you would like as well. What I'm going to be doing is giving a quick preview of how it sounds without any effects. Hey babe, just wanted to leave you a quick voicemail to say sorry about your dog. So you can hear how it sounds without any effects on top of it. It is just a normal recording voice. So in this case, there is one thing I would suggest doing before actually doing this to any voice effect and that is removing the background noise. In this case, I'm not going to be doing it in today's video, although I'll be leaving a card on screen. This is if you have a lot of staticky or background noise in the back of your audio, it is recommended to do this. What we're going to be doing is selecting our entire audio track by clicking Control and A. We're going to be coming to Effects. We're going to be coming down to Filter and EQ, and we're going to be looking for the FFT filter right here. Now, from this point, what we're going to be doing is using the Presets option, and we actually have two different telephone voice effects built directly into Adobe Audition, which is a telephone receiver and a telephone voicemail. Now, both of these have a slightly different feel and sound so what i'm going to be doing is using the receiver first and what we're going to be doing is previewing how this sounds by using the play and pause button right here and you can enable and disable the effect really easily by turning this button on and off hey babe just wanted to leave you a quick voicemail to say sorry about your dog i didn't mean to give him all those laxatives it was kind of just a funny joke that got out of hand his ball was right there and i just had to put the entire box in i'm really sorry i hope so you can hear how much volume it cuts off from the top end. You can add a little bit more here if you would like to drag your two effects up. Although keep in mind this will bring us closer to clipping. If we play this back you can hear a quick example. Hey babe, just wanted to leave you a quick voicemail to say sorry about your dog. So this can help us bring up a little bit more volume in here as well. Although just keep in mind with the effect it can sound a little bit better when it's quieter. So that's the receiver and we also have the voicemail effect. Which has a slightly different sound signature as well. Which I'll play back and preview for you now. So for me, I actually like the voicemail effect a little bit more. That's my personal preference. Once you're happy with how the effect is, simply click apply and then your effect is added. And now you have the telephone voice effect in Adobe Audition. Anyway, it's as easy as that to create a telephone voice effect in Adobe Audition. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.